Akmo, powering your freedom. Hey guys, Mike Builds, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be testing and taking a look at this Akmo 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. This is a standard size lithium iron phosphate battery, not a mini. It has low temp charge protection. It can discharge 100 amps. It can charge 100 amps. In the box, you get the user manual. Let's look through this like we always do to see if there's anything crazy we need to know. 100 amp BMS. That's it, nothing crazy in there. You also get two sets of M8 bolts. So Ocmo, Ocmo is a different brand that I haven't tested yet and I haven't seen anyone really reviewing these batteries. At the time of the review, this battery sells for $169. So it makes it a little bit above the cheapest batteries, but still a little bit below the expensive batteries. Nice gloss black case, sticker on the front, nothing on the back. Nothing on the bottom. Pretty run of the mill, 100 amp hour battery. Looks really nice though. We're gonna fully charge this thing, do a capacity test. Then we're gonna do a full current discharge test. We're gonna pull close to 200 amps out of this battery, see if the BMS will cut off or not. Then we're gonna open this thing up and take a look at the cells, the BMS and the overall build quality of the battery and just kind of judge the quality and the performance based on the price. And we'll give our overall thoughts at the end. So let's get started. We're gonna use our standard six amp charger that we use on all of our batteries to fully charge this thing. And then we will start the capacity test. So I'll see you all in a few hours. We just finished the capacity test on the Ocmo battery and we got 102.7 amp hours. Not too shabby. I'm gonna recharge the battery so we can do a full current discharge test. So we have the battery completely recharged again. So now we're gonna connect our big 3000 watt inverter to a space heater and do a full current discharge test to see if this thing has a high current protection that's gonna work. The battery is hot off the charger. So we're gonna get hopefully the best results we can get out of this battery. Here we go. That's low heat. Go ahead and kick it over to high. That's 132 amps. I'm gonna go ahead and connect another battery charger to the inverter to add more of a load. 150 amps, we're pulling 194 amps, 2200 watts of power. The battery is holding steady at 11 and a half volts. It's a lot of power out of one battery. Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna cut off. 192 amps is probably the most I'm gonna try to pull out of it. We're almost maxing out the inverter anyways. Next, we're gonna crack this thing open and just see what's on the inside, see how the build quality is. Akmo battery. So here's what we got. We got a big metal base. This is all metal, pretty interesting. It's got these big metal stands right here that support the top of the battery to keep the cover from being pressed into it. The battery is taped together with reinforcement tape. We do see that a lot on more budget batteries. Pretty standard laser welded terminals. The battery bus bars do have a hump for expansion. There's a visible QR code on there. I'm gonna to try to get that scanned here in a minute. We have nice silicone wires going to the BMS and that is bolted to the BMS. The BMS is kind of covered with some reinforcing tape, but maybe someone can make out a model number. It does say 100 amp right there. It looks like a pretty generic BMS. It doesn't look like a fancy one. They did put potting compound on the balance harness as well as the temperature sensor. This supposedly has low temp cutoff, so I'm gonna go try to freeze some water and see if we can't trigger that. And it's got another metal bar here that goes over the whole top of the battery. So very interesting, they put a lot of metal. It's like a whole little metal roll cage that hold the cells in place. Here's what the other side looks like. As you can see, they put insulating boards between all the cells, so that's good to see. There's also some foam. Overall, for a budget battery, it looks pretty well constructed. I haven't seen this metal plate style constructing before, so it's very interesting how they did that. I mean, it feels like it's gonna be pretty robust. And it looks like the whole battery cells assembly are literally set onto this metal base, and then they put that bar over the top. So it should keep everything sort of in place. It feels like it's pretty sturdy. Plenty of foam over everything, foam on the top, foam underneath this main bar right here where the BMS is mounted. The connections look nice and secure. Nothing really bad there. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the QR code to scan and I do not see any numbers right there, but these look like standard size 100 amp hour cells. We've seen these a bunch in some of the other budget batteries that we've torn down and reviewed. So they look pretty common. If I had to guess, they're either global power or some sort of other cell like that, but it's really hard to tell unless you really know what you're getting by scanning the QR code. Cells look in good condition. They don't look they're recycled and the QR codes are intact. They're not scratched off or stamped with a B or anything crazy like that. The temp sensor is right here. I'm gonna try to pull it where it's mounted at. They have it taped to the bottom of this metal bar touching the cells. All right, we got some ice, super chilled ice water. Let's go ahead and stick the temp sensor in there. Look at that, the light turned green, which means the battery stopped charging. So the low temp, Charging protection feature does actually work on this. That's gonna do it for a review of the Ocmo 100 amp hour battery, guys. Let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know what you guys think about the test results, the build quality. Low temp cutoff works, that's pretty cool. No overcurrent protection that I could get to work up to 190 something amps. So if you guys have got that to trigger, let me know in the comments. If you guys are using the 
Ocmo batteries. Let me know what you guys think about them. As far as price, it's kind of difficult because these are close to 200 bucks, about 170 to $200, depending on where you buy it. There's a lot of batteries around that budget and there's also batteries below that. So it's really hard to say how good of a value this is. I will say it has a metal frame holding the cells together, even though the cell compression is actually being done with reinforcing tape, but it does have the metal frame in there. So that is normally a premium feature you see on more expensive batteries and it has low temp protection. So I will give it those two things, maybe helping justify the little bit higher price. These things are so cheap. The market is so competitive for price right now. It's really crazy what you can get for not even spending 200 bucks. But in my opinion, if you're spending close to $200, that should be a very, very premium battery. Anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think about this and I will see y'all in the next one.